Ooh. That makes no goddamn sense, but okay. See, no freckles. Yeah, that's clever. And look at the ultimate despair. Do you see her her things in her hair? Of course. That's why if you look at pictures of Junko, all the pictures on the internet are of that Junko. Oh wow. So we'd be spoiled right You've away. Been waiting, waiting so very long for peasants like you to appear. What? Even better. That's her voice. Nope. Nope. Even better. If you swear your fealty to us, Just we will reward me. you with half of the entire world. We've even drawn up the deed already. We will grant you honor, status, in some of our home cooking. Have you made your choice? Oh. Will you serve? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, did you think I was being serious? What is that like? Sorry. I was just what is that JoJo me? pose over there? It's been so long since I've had an audience. Even I'm not sure what kind of role she I'm She has a split personality to too. Uh, this is the mastermind? She's... the real Junko and Ashima? Anyway, looks like I've finally been set free. That's her real voice. Having Good. to play Monokuma all the time, day like she's after broken. day. It was like I was stuck in purgatory. Or like a slow suicide. I get bored so easy, you know? Your face! Huh? What about my face? What's wrong with my beautiful face? <laughs> People have told me I'm cuter than a hundred chihuahuas combined. <laughs> it's like she doesn't have any feeling at all. This isn't the first time I've seen you. No, I do remember seeing it. I'm sure I've seen her too somewhere. It was definitely before I got to the school. Mm -hmm. Well, if it's before I got to the school, then it's like before getting yeah. to the school, right? <laughs> I got it. That's right. It was before I ever. Oh came right, to yeah, school. yeah, yeah. I remember seeing a magazine cover. Uh huh. And you were on it. Wow, you have a pretty good memory. I guess that's why you have made it this far. <laughs> so monotone. Huh? Yeah. So I was right. Then what you told me in the main hall when this all began. I've seen her on tons of magazine covers, but I didn't. I feel like this didn't quite match up the reality. Huh? Oh, are you talking about my cover photos and junk? Ah, uh, well, of course. Those are totally photoshopped. Photoshopped? Yeah, you know, edited to hell and back with, like, computers and junk? Oh, so they aren't real. Sometimes a little lie is necessary to keep things moving along. Wouldn't you agree? That explains why she didn't quite seem the same. Because she was a different person all along. And me. And Mukuro is Mukuro. She tried her best. But there's just no way she could have passed as the ultimate fashionista. Really? Two people can never become one as long as the walls of mind and body exist. Not even if they're twins. Twins! I had wondered, because why else would they team up and why else yeah. would they be able to pass as each other? Yeah. I know, it's such a cliche, right? <laughs> I'm almost embarrassed to admit it. So basically, Rukuro and I had your stereotypical twin relationship. The older sister, tough and proud, that was Mukuro. The younger sister, smart and cute, that was... Me! <laughs> Junko fucking Enoshima! <laughs> we were the Despair Sisters, aka the ultimate despair! Weird! <laughs> Now. Like I said, I get bored easy as hell. I even get fucking bored with myself. But do you share your own alternate personalities memories? Yes. But Sweet. If, if you're twins. Why do you have different last names? Oh, that again? You have any idea how many times people ask me that shit? Maybe it's new to your dumb ass, but it pours me to tears. Answering the same questions over and over? Just make up whatever answer you want. I don't give a shit. The truth's fucking lame anyway. But, if she was your twin, that means you killed your own sister? And for reasons deeper and darker than the ocean. Ha! As if! Well, I suppose I'd better explain. What? Woo! <laughs> what? <laughs> for my plan to work, someone had to be able to control the killing game from behind the scenes. The so-called mastermind had to operate Monokuma, keep an eye on everyone, things like that. 
But after looking at the situation, I determined it would be impossible for Mukuro to perform such duties. Because naturally, she turned out to be the letdown of the family. Wow. Leaving me behind to run off and join some band of mercenaries. Such a disappointment. So, I decided to play the role of director and have her join the rest of you in your school life. I could have let her work alongside me, but she would have been useless to me that way. Besides, 15 students seemed like a solid number to start with. Good for progressing gameplay. Of course, the fact that she was the ultimate soldier I was thinking that, yeah. something of a problem. What are you gonna do, fight her? She had what I call the three atrocities. Atrociously ranked, atrociously filthy, atrociously repulsive. It was atrociously clear just how out of touch she was with the rest of society. Meanwhile, my ultimate fashionista status has an undeniable appeal that I didn't want to go to waste. And that's... why you switched identities? Sadly, her inability to match my personality was even greater than I'd calculated. It was a lost cause. She was nothing more than a bit player, an extra unworthy of lines. Show enough. Being the utter disappointment that she was, anyone would have expected her to get killed off right away. Again, like she 170 kills, yeah. not a scratch on her. I don't know, man. Sakura would have had to like Although, work for it. <laughs> I mean, they'll explain why she died, but if she didn't die when she did, then like no one would have been able to kill her anyway. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that's what I'm saying. Like, unless you like get the jump on her, and even that, I'm yeah. sure, is not easy. Which is precisely why I killed her. To meet everyone's expectations. That can't be your only reason, can it? Well, no, of course not. I also did it to avoid becoming bored. I've never been a stickler for following a plan to the letter, you know? If I planned everything out and knew just what was gonna happen, that'd be so boring. Wow, where do I begin with boys and things just a bit. You might not have to, actually. But I hope I do, because, like, don't take this from me. In other words, Mukuro's death was a one-sided, premeditated act of betrayal, just as I suspected. When Mukuro was killed, she must have been as surprised as anybody else. Mm -hmm. She sure looked it. What? Huh? This wasn't supposed to... Why me? Do you remember her saying that? Yeah. <laughs> Because that wasn't what's supposed to happen. Yeah. Well, you're right. There's no way Mukuro could have pulled off such a convincing performance. But she did teach you all a very valuable lesson, don't you think? How can you talk like that? Well, I have to put on several different voices. You sacrificed your own sister. How does that not even bother you? What? I sacrificed her? That's what's got you so hot under the collar? Jeez. Misunderstandings sure are scary. We were the ultimate despair, you know? So we never had any kind of hope or expectations. Nope. I felt despair as long as I can remember. Like I never should have been born at all. When I was born, I cried tears of total despair. When I cried, I was, when I was born, I was crying tears of despair. I mean, come on. <laughs> Freaking crazy. So you just murdered your own sister and didn't think anything of it? That's not true at all. We were twins. How could I not be sad? Is it the mushrooms? You ever yeah. found? Excited. Yeah. Killing my precious sister with my own two hands. That act is filled with so much despair. You can't help but put a super in front of it. It's like super, 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 super despair. No, more than that. Super, 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 super despair. It just feels so good. What the hell is wrong with you? And my sister too. In that moment of death, I think she must have felt that despair. After all, to be murdered by your own sister, and only as an example to someone else, she must have died feeling such excruciating hopelessness. I'm so jealous of her. Super jealous. No. 
More than that. I knew you couldn't be just some ordinary person. You're some kind of abnormality. Turning your own despair into some kind of fetish. Abnormality doesn't even begin to describe it. Like, Genocide Jill is crazy for sure, <laughs> but this is a whole nother level of nuts! Whole nother. Yep. You're saying I don't compare to some lowly beast that can only kill the weak, right? So, I'm hopelessly attractive, hopelessly brilliant, hopelessly athletic. I'm the hopelessly perfect ultimate human. No. I don't think there's anything perfect about anything you just said. Yeah. Master's way more perfect. Because on top of everything else, he's got that noble blood. Hmm. Don't you mean had that noble blood? Was that the thing that she was trying to cover? Or that the motivation, perhaps, then? Maybe. Did he get, like, kicked out of his family for being too much of a snobby jackass? Maybe he wasn't snobby say? enough. What do you mean by that? What? Wow. That reminds me of uh, Ferris Bueller. You know, remember there that restaurant, that French waiter? Like, now get out of here before I start to get snooty. You know? like, <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> okay. You still haven't figured nice. that part out yet? Man, you guys are so slow. You haven't even solved all the mysteries, and yet here you are, yap, yap, yapping away. Are you talking about our memories? You've already solved this mystery, right? I'm the killer. So how about the next one? Maybe you should solve the riddle of your missing oh. memories. Then you can start floating. Damn straight. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to solve all these mysteries. And then we'll have our victory. <laughs> I can't wait. All right, then let's just get straight to the point. What memories did you steal from us? When the group pictures were taken, and those interviews, it must It's the Monaco be... music, too. Yeah. I got it! It must have something to do with our entrancing exams. Mm. No fair! At least give us a hint! Your brains are like sponges, all grippy and leaky. I already gave you a hint before. All the memories you lost share something in common with a few other things. Do you recall? Thinking back to what Monokuma's told us, the memories that were stolen from us, and what they must be related to... I got it! I killed my parents, so I could kill their friends. Oh. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> like, oh my god. So you do remember after all. Well, I would hope you wouldn't forget something so important. It was stupid of me to even ask. I apologize from the bottom of my heart for my bad manners. So then, let me ask you another question. Did you notice that each motive I presented you had a specific theme to it? Uh, theme? Yep, yep, you got it. So that's my question to you all. Yep, when so Sayaka was murdered, what was the theme of the motive I presented? So after she was murdered, so the save your family stuff is already done. No, it's what was the theme for the motive for the first murder? Oh. I just went, all right, so mine yeah. was family. Sakura's was her friends. They had a dream. Some of were given were human connections. I got it! Love triangles. The driving force behind the motive you presented us with at that point was human connections. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> you got it. Remember those DVDs I gave you guys? Each video showed the total destruction of your most important relationships. For example, your family. For example, your friends. I ruined all those relationships and showed you the results. It was to motivate your desire to escape and kickstart your urge to kill. But still, what a cruel thing to do. Well. You're the one that did it! <laughs> yes, well, I'm perfectly happy to accept your disapproval. Okay! Time for the next question! Um, so, what was the theme for the second motive? Money was third. Mm hmm. For the second murder, the motive's theme was. Let's make out those weird envelopes from Monokuma. The secrets. Mine mentioned how I used to wet the bed, yeah. So the theme that time was the past. I got it! It was our past, right? So I guess the goal was either to have us all kill each other or 
if we're willing to go on with the trials and not kill each other, that means we must be okay with breaking our human connections and mm -hmm. severing our ties of the past mm -hmm. and, like, throwing away our desire for money, which mm -hmm. for some reason freaking Celeste couldn't do. Yay! Makoto got it right again! That time, the theme was... <laughs> hey! Embarrassing memories and secrets! Yeah! <laughs> and the whole reason Mondo did what he did was to protect his secret. So, how long do you plan on dragging this out? Relax, relax. Okay, on to the next question. So, what was the motive for the third murder? The theme for the third murder was, the reason Celeste turns to murder was, she went there to buy a European castle and lived there with a bunch of handsome, handsome men. men. Just as vampires. When I hear handsome men, I picture the not Power Rangers, like the Super Sentai team from oh, Killer7. Yeah. The handsome men! So that time, the motive for murder was greed. I got it! It was money, wasn't it? Not greed. only just greed, but wanting stuff. So no longer did you want human connections. Your desire in general. You didn't want, you didn't care about your fam your human connections, you don't care about your past, you don't care about wanting anything. Mm-hmm. Seek and destroy! Hell yeah, you got it again! Stacks. Work out that money. Yeah, stacks. Fat stacks. Fat stacks. Fat stacks. Celeste killed it for me and Taka for a little personal gain. Her greed led to all kinds of death and destruction. Oh yeah. What's she the even point got two of all this? Because she was so greedy. Yeah. Making us go through this case by case. Well, uh, not really because she was greedy, like to make a really damn good alibi. <laughs> but that's how. That's what she was willing to go through. Yeah, that's true. Can you tell me the motive behind Crazy Ass Sakura's crazy ass death? Motive in the case of Sakura's death was what was it that made Sakura decide to kill herself? It had to do with Monokoma exposing Sakura's secret. So the theme of the motive in that fourth case was well, he had blackmailed Sakura. But that's not the theme. Yeah. Yeah. You just don't get Shoot. it. I guess it was betrayal then. Mm -hmm. I got it. In her case, and then cutting ties to each other. Uh. Precisely. You see, once I revealed Sakura's betrayal, that led to everything that came afterwards. Anyway, it looks like you answered all of my questions correctly. How oh, painfully, painfully delightful. Uh -huh. But what's the point? What meaning is there in asking those questions now? Relationships, secrets, money, betrayal, these are all pretty standard motives, right? The most normal of normal, totally middle of the road. Totally average. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Makoto was Junko oh, all along. Oh. Motives that exist in this world. In fact, there are as many reasons to kill as there are people on Earth. Yeah, actually, do you remember the, um, the preview videos, the Meet the Blank from Team Fortress 2? You know, meet the soldier, mm -hmm. meet the medic. Mm -hmm. The meet the sniper one, he was like, as you know, I I'm always gonna have work. If there are only two people left on planet Earth, someone is gonna want someone else dead. Well, that means that he has to be one of those people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they compel humans to kill each other, bringing despair to the world. But yeah, it's true. This is what we Us just being in this room to together. As the sea of <laughs> only one of us is walking away from this LP. <laughs> And I'm like, assuming and if you put it up. Yeah, I was gonna say if it's on YouTube, it was me. <laughs> <laughs> also, I'm the blackened, apparently. Son of a bitch. Of despair. Just as water, air, and food promote growth in living things, the seed of despair also needs nourishment. We should make some really stupid animation of me, like a Photoshop despair death of me. Yeah, like as my dragging away a pixelated you, and it's this game over. <laughs> oh no. Two sides of the same coin, divided by a razor thin line. Such is hope and despair. <laughs> How much what does that remind me of? Like stupid speech of yours. Every generic rich girl, yeah. like in every like anime, and also princess from Powerpuff Girls, and like I think Tron Bond from Mega Man Legends. Mm. Weren't we discussing our missing memories? Why are you trying to change the subject? If you would listen, you would see I'm not changing the subject. We are discussing your memories. 
Just the, the look and the fact that she has a clipboard reminds me of Khalifa, of all people mm -hmm. in the world from One Piece. Remember Khalifa? Mm -hmm. What I'm trying to say is, the seed of despair is closely tied to your own memories. Uh, how so? You see, by taking away your memories, I gave you hope. Of course that hope merely existed to be consumed by despair. How could taking away someone's memories give them hope? Yeah, at the very least, you could fight for what the memories were. And plus, you haven't given us any hope anyway! Is that so? All you've been able to think about during your time here is how to escape, right? The mere fact that that's what you want proves I gave you hope. Ah, Thanks, Junko! What are you talking about? If none of you wanted to escape this school, the killings never would have taken place. That is why we took your memories. So that you would have the desire to leave. Because they all agreed to stay there. Sure did. The only reason we want to leave is because you took our memories. Is that what you're saying? Because there must have been a reason why they wanted to stay there. And if they realized, exactly. if, if they remembered why they wanted to stay there, they would say, all right, we're staying here. We don't want to kill each other, we'll just live together. Yep. I love how she like, does Monokuma's yeah. voice while holding Monokuma in front of her. That means if we did have our memories, then we wouldn't want to leave. Do I understand that right? What? Why the hell would having our memories make us not want to leave? <laughs> A most troubling thought, isn't it? And I do appreciate that she does the hoo 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 laugh. Mm -hmm. But it's not enough. I but I also think it's actually despair. a different voice more actor for Monokuma and... It does sound different, yeah. yeah. I put so much effort into creating hope in order to feed your despair and make it grow. So, just like Crazy Eddie slashing his prices and... Wow! <laughs> you, let me give you a hint! There is no goddamn way that that was in the original Japanese. That's obscure even for us. Whoa! Like, see also Miss Cleo. Uh -huh. Well, I'm pretty sure the original, like, culture reference was something that we wouldn't understand. Exactly. But, like, wow, that is yeah. very American. <laughs> Okie dokie. Like they say, seeing is believing. I'd like for you to see oh. the outside world. I'm waiting for the twist. Like, I know there's a Danganronpa 2, but, like, the whole world's already blown up. No point going outside. Like, the outside world. You mean the world beyond the school walls? It's just like that bad ending and I have no mouth and I'm a scream for one of the scenarios where like you get this wish granted like I want to be able to escape and go outside and the guy's like sure buddy here you go and everything's just radiation well have fun bye and you're like oh so something really did happen out there now are you interested in what I have to say you want to see what's out there <laughs> I wanna see too! So that must be why we agreed to stay, cause like... It's not safe to leave. See your faces sink into despair! But again, there exists Danganronpa 2. If it, is it like a hundred years in the future? Cause that would be freaking amazing! <laughs> <laughs> now then, open sesame! Behold! The world beyond the school walls! This is the outside world you've all been so anxious to claw your way back into. I'm still I'm still putting my thoughts on hold though because Whoa! <laughs> wow, what? What? It's a giant giant monocula. Yeah. Holy crap, dude. But who's watching TV? What a twist! Gotta admit, I got nothing to say to that. <laughs> what the? Dangerous. The world has grown so very dangerous. That's what this means. Because anyone who has the sunken to despair yet, that's what the TV show is for. Sense. Yeah. Because that's probably the only thing on TV. That's is watching up. their supposed to be their best and brightest falling into this Yeah, fairies. that sucks. So like, well, I guess if they are, then we need to fall into this fairies <laughs> Their too. best and brightest, and hero. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's the best. And Monokuma. Yeah, alright. 30% accuracy. Right. Is this that Aphex Twin music video where they're all wearing that guy's... the, the, the singer's face? Is, what is that, Come to Daddy? I don't remember the name of it. You, YouTube Come to Daddy Aphex Twin. That video is nuts. What you just saw. All of you should recognize it. 
we should recognize it? What about it should we recognize other than Monokuma's face? The whole thing is insane. Also, how did it get to Monokuma's face? That world is locked away within the memories that were taken from you. If you can't remember, please just try. Do your best to try and recall. <laughs> Better kick your brain in the ass! Cause it's up to that gray lump whether you live or die! I don't remember! Ain't a fucking excuse no more! Cause now it's time for the final class trial! Oh, you lied to me. I thought this was the final class trial. God damn it. That was quite the interlude. <laughs> Whoa, Genocide Jack's memory is a thing. Come on, bitches! Remember or die! What the fuck happened outside? <laughs> what the fuck happened outside? She's fun. Ever, but when it comes to that crazy, confusing video you showed us, I don't understand a damn thing! What's the meaning of the footage we saw? Is this another one of your practical jokes? Oh! You're telling us to remember, but Hang on. what am I supposed to be remembering? Wait, wait, wait. Nobody yeah. Remember. That's right, they don't share. They, they Genocide Jack yeah. says she can remember everything. So Genocide Jack's memory, so she knows what's going on. Yeah. She just hasn't told you anything, because no one asked, probably. Yeah, she would. Actually, she might remember. Who might remember? The other token. Genocide yeah, right Jack. <laughs> <laughs> what? Two of them share certain kinds of knowledge, but their memories aren't linked, right? I see. If their memories are separate, then even if one personality is forgotten, there's a chance the other may still have those memories. What do you say, Toko? Are you telling me to swap places with her? No! Absolutely not! That'd be like forfeiting my entire identity! Toko. You're the only one we can rely on. Coming from Biakia? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> da, 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 da. It's me, your Here. friendly neighborhood Again, killer. not in the Japanese. Couldn't have been. Boy, friendly neighborhood like it was nothing. I'm going to ask you a question, and I want to have it answered immediately. Do you know anything about this video? Sure, I made it! Huh? What video? The video that's playing right now. Who the hell are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh. That is the, the, wow. There's no way. That's ridiculous. Well, does it look familiar? I don't have all the details, but of course it does. Then you remember all the stuff it's showing? Of course I do. <laughs> That's pretty great. So you didn't lose your memory after all. No, she just doesn't share Togo. Of course I didn't. Yeah, of course I didn't! Then why didn't you say something earlier? You didn't ask, like you said. I only answer questions when someone bothers uh -huh. to ask me! Why it you? Yeah, it shows. Oh my god, he's the worst liar in the world! More importantly, if you really do remember, what is it? Huh? What's the matter, Master? Do you really not remember the tragedy? Not gonna lie, if this really is what the tragedy is, this might be the worst. <laughs> the tragedy? Oh no! You seriously forgot? Maybe I can help you remember the kiss. Just answer the question. What happened out there? Damn. Well, I can't really say if it happened or if it's still happening, but it was the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. <laughs> wow. What? Why is that phrase coming up now? Because it's all because of that event! What is? Are you serious? I'm talking about the way the world is now! Is... now? The world's been destroyed! Get it? Destroyed? Explain yourself! Tell us everything you know! I'll be back, darling! Ugh. Okay, so this big, awful, tragic event, they started just calling it the tragedy, happened about a year ago! It was so big and so bad that even this murderous fiend went pale at the sight of it! That's a big deal. I guess you could say what happened was man-made. 
But it was more on the level of a worldwide natural disaster! Either way, there's no doubt that it was the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history! And as a result, in basically no time flat! The world turned out the way it did, and that's that. Why do they all have Monokuma? Ma Val helmets masks. That's all there is to it? Come on! There wasn't a single concrete description in there! Well, it just so happens I don't know any of the specifics! Miss Morose thought I'll play out in real time, so why don't you ask her? Oh. We already did, and she didn't know anything. That's why we're asking you. <laughs> I couldn't live up to <laughs> God, what a ham. Okay, okay, that's enough of your little lover's quarrel. Whatever happened, it doesn't matter at this exact point in time, right? The end justifies the means. Everything serves the outcome. In other words, the world has ended. That's the important thing. Uh, how could the world just end? It's... it's the world! <laughs> Calm down. It's okay. There is no need to panic. Every living person will be dead in a hundred years anyway. Wow! So the world ending isn't that big a deal. Oh, come on. Now you're just being ridiculous. Well, as long as we're being ridiculous, I have another ridiculous story to tell you. Here we go. It's the story of the Tagami Corporation. Ooh. Which has given Gyakuya's life all its meaning. They're the ones who did this, maybe? What did you say? I'm glad to see you took the bait. You bit into it like a middle-aged secretary at a <laughs> cake buffet. Woo! Hey, hey! So, what do you think happened to the Tokyo? Wow! <laughs> God damn! <laughs> Definitely what do you think happened? Option number three for sure. Okay. Correct. Well done, peasant. But I didn't say anything yet. I just got so fucking bored waiting. I couldn't help it. Even if you're wrong, eventually you'll figure it out, right? <laughs> Till then, you're just going in circles. So, no matter what you pick, you get the right answer. Pretty innovative, don't you think? But, do you think it might be a disease? Getting bored so easy, I mean. Do you think I might be sick? I mean, this doesn't answer your question directly, but yes. <laughs> anyway, like I was saying, Byakuya's entire lineage has been totally annihilated! What? What the hell are you talking about? I can confirm that his entire family has died. Wow! Even the distant relatives. The Tagami name has perished. Stop with these idiotic jokes! Stop! And said with such authority! A peasant would dare challenge us? The avatar of divine punishment? I mean, with Byakuya's ultimate ability that he would have the authority. Yeah. You must learn your place, peasant! You are no longer the ultimate Touché. avatar progeny! They, they couldn't possibly be gone! The Togami family is destined to guide the world! Hell, there is no world anymore, remember? It got fucked a full year ago! Oh, hold on! That doesn't make any sense! Huh? I don't make sense? There's no way that happened a year ago! I mean, we only came to this school a few weeks ago! Did we? Did we? If some kind of world-ending event happened a year ago... No wonder this was so specific about who gets in. This must have been like the last bastion of humanity or something. Also, Hope's Peak with a name like that. Then how do you explain the totally normal world we were living in up till then? Easy, it was a year ago. <laughs> have you considered the possibility that you're mistaken about that? Mistaken? Well, if I'm understanding you right... It sounds like you think the tragedy happened a year before you arrived here. Well, well, yeah. I mean, like he said, we just got here a few weeks ago. A few weeks ago? <laughs> oh my, no. Ooh, I get it. You're saying that what happened two years ago actually <laughs> happened more recently, right? Yeah, wait, what? Huh? Years ago? So I'm actually well, two years I mean, older than you guys all started attending Hope's Peak Academy two years ago. Crazy. Wait, what? Two years ago? What does that <laughs> What the hell is this chick trying to say? I understand why you'd have trouble accepting it, but in the end, you can't deny the truth. And the truth is, 
Everything is cause and effect. Deny that, and you may as well give yourself up to God. So, you must surely understand all the hints I've given you so far, right? What are the memories I took from you? From now, answer us. Answer with all your heart and soul. How are we supposed to answer? I... I just don't know what's going on anymore. Still, we have to answer somehow. If we don't, everything ends right here. The memories that were stolen from us. If what Junko says is true, if we first came here two years ago, but the rest of us only remember getting here within the last few weeks or so. So the memories she took from us... I guess I like the host peak, not the entire past, right? I got it! Good job. Yeah! That what you say is true. Way to go. We've all lost our memories of the last two years after coming to this school. Nope. Nope. No, no, no. Nope. No. I mean, no matter what anyone says, uh-uh. <laughs> Another correct answer. Well done, peasant. Seriously? This routine again? We've lost two years' worth of memories? That's right. You've already spent two full years here at Hope's Peak Academy. And that entire period of time is precisely what you've forgotten. I don't remember the last two years of my life. That... that's not possible! I want to think that too. I don't want to believe it. But that's nothing but our desire. I don't want to believe, I want it to be impossible. But if it's the truth, then we have to accept it. Okay. Oh no. The um locker notebook, I think. Never lose yeah. something like that. We've been living here for two years? Yeah, the notebook, yeah, you hear us. No, that's impossible! I mean, I haven't gone to any awesome school events or anything! Heck, I've never even gone to a single class! Tough shot! Ha! No, that's wrong. That's crazy. <laughs> Hero, there's something I'd like you to take a look at. This notebook right here. Huh? Hey, why is my name written on it? I found it in the locker room on the second floor. If you don't mind, could you take a look inside? Sure, whatever you want. But I've never seen this notebook before in my life. Waza Waza, is something wrong? Waza Waza. It's kind of similar. No, even more than that. <laughs> this is absolutely my handwriting without a doubt. But how is this? I don't remember ever writing in this thing. No, no way. It looks like you actually did attend class here at Hope's Peak. But somehow, you forgot all about it. Lies. It's a one big lie. I don't want to believe it either. But there's also no explanation Yeah, there we go. I was hoping we wouldn't have to break that out, too. And whose pocketbook is that? It's mine. And the handwriting inside is also mine. There's no doubt about it. But just like Hero, I have no memory of ever writing in it. And the reason for that is the two years of missing memories? <laughs> After seeing all the evidence, do you have any choice but to acknowledge the truth? Isn't it just so desperately dark? The mystery solved, but it's like a goddamn funeral in here. Shit, man, I've never been to a funeral. Hell yes! <laughs> She's a fun one. How many moments of blossoming youth have you missed out on? How many fun classes? How many school events? This was your chance to build lasting friendships, right? And on top of that, something tragically sad happened one year ago. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Right before everyone's eyes, the world came crashing down. You absorbed all that despair, but then you forgot it all. And once you've forgotten, you made the choice to subject yourselves to this killing game. Oh, and there's one other thing. To be even more precise, the memories you all lost were... Actually, never mind. Uh. Oh boy. Explaining stuff is boring. What? We are bored of this world. Everyone always talks big, declaring all the great things they'll do. But then they always fizzle out. Oh! This world is just so oh. definitely oh. fucking boring! 
what are you talking about? In a way, I'm jealous of all of you. To give yourself over so completely to such stimulating despair. Yeah, so figure out the rest for yourselves. I'm sick of expositioning all this shit. Figure out what? Figure out where your memories come apart. That's at the heart of all of this. Where our memories come apart? Was she talking about the moment where we must have lost our memories? I can only think of one time, just after I set foot in Main Hall for the first time, and that was... I got it! The moment I lost my memories... I can't think of any time other than... a day! <laughs> Here we go! When I first came to the gates of this school, and stepped foot in the Main Hall, when I passed out, I was overcome with a strange sensation. Wow! You still have enough spirit to keep on talking, huh? Um, so I don't know much about the details, but it seems like everyone remembers passing out, right? And your sense of time got all messed up because of the memory loss after that? I guess it must have been something like that. After I passed out, I woke up in a classroom with my head on the desk. I assumed not much time had passed since I'd collapsed in the main hall. That was weird. <laughs> but instead, That's crazy. two whole years had gone by! The reason it felt so short was because... our memories of the time in between had been completely removed? You got it, honey! Two years of memories? Poof! Gone! Which means, of course... Killing a memory ain't no big deal! Just put a gun to the head? When everyone met for the first time, it wasn't actually for the first time. Well, of course. Unaware of this fact, you took the time to introduce yourselves to each other, but... Actually, you knew each other all along. But by that point, we'd already spent two years together That explains together those photos. School. That's what those photos reveal, isn't it? That's what they reveal! You were all such close friends! You spent two years together, and then you started killing each other! And it was all so you could escape into a world that's already <laughs> been annihilated! <laughs> what a terribly tragic tale! Even if you left now, there's nothing you could do to fix it! You're the one who set things up to be like this! What? Once your school life here began, I thought about you constantly. It's only natural that I would fall in love. So, since I love you guys so much, I'll tell you all about it. What happened to not wanting to exposition all this crap? I was thinking that. Despair. Our plan to bring despair to all mankind. The ultimate despair, all mankind. Two years, okay? Back to when everyone first came to this school. School life during that first year overflowed with hope and happiness. There's a Biakia right there. <laughs> oh boy, it was just the worst. Everyone was enjoying themselves so much. You were all having the time of your lives. But that couldn't last forever, of course. The peacefulness only made it through that first year. Because after that, an event unfolded that hammered a soul-crushing despair into all of humanity. Some asshole carved Monokuma's face into those monuments. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. All too soon, the world's days of peace came to a bloody end. And as you can imagine, the school was no exception. The tragedy even made its way here, Oof. leading to the extermination of most of the students. What are you? Hmm? What do you mean? The most tragic event in human history, and the ultimate despair that caused it. I can't believe it's all because of just you and Mukuro. Was it some kind of organization? An angry mob? An incredibly motivated family? You have a point. If I had to describe it, I'd say it was none of those. How can I put it? 
It was more of an ideological thing. Despair is contagious, you know. It's almost like a natural phenomenon. Everyone is capable of it. And now the entire world has fallen into despair. In other words, if you see despair as the enemy, then your enemy is the world itself. I just don't understand why. We didn't ask you to try to understand. This was a tangent anyway, unrelated to the matter at hand. Okay, yeah. so let's get back to the story. Hope's Peak had taken so much damage. You guys were the only survivors. So just think of how many more ultimates there were. So does that also mean that... I didn't think about this, but um, Hero might not be from their class. Because if they're the survivors, that doesn't necessarily mean that he was with their class. Uh, I guess he was in the pictures. So never mind. Yeah, yeah. The members of the 78th class yeah. of Hope's Peak Academy yeah. were the only never ones mind. left. But again, think about that. That would be though. funny, though, if he was from like an older class and he just happened to be also a survivor. Yeah, no, but just think about that, though. Like, how many more ultimates died? Yep. And then, something super neat happened! Now I'm wondering how there is a Danganronpa 2, but I guess we'll find that out later. Mm -hmm. Now pay attention! And three. Because this is important! Yeah, there will and be. I'm only gonna say it once! So guess what? To protect everyone who had survived, Hope's Peak was transformed into a shelter! That's right! It was transformed into a shelter! That's right! It was transformed into a shelter! <gasps> I said it twice! Yeah. <laughs> now, someone was responsible for that transformation. So that's ironic, then the metal plating was for our protection. Eventually become your mm. prison. Do any of you know who that might have been? The one who turned Hope's Peak into a shelter and isolated us here. Prep the Prime Minister. My God! It could only have been the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy. Oh, the irony. He wanted to turn the school into a shelter to try and protect us. To protect us from the despair and tragedy taking place outside. That's why he asked us to make that promise. Ah. To say that we were willing to live in this school forever. Yes. We believe he had something like that in mind, yes. If you I like how she talks the in the royal hope week. of a new generation ah, yeah. could survive, maybe the world could have a fresh start. Yeah, the headmaster put that much faith in you. And because we had that same hope. That's why we all agree to live here forever. But creating the shelter was also his single biggest mistake. <laughs> it's laughable, really. He was the headmaster, but he had no idea. It really is weird to see both Monokuma heads as full versions of themselves. They're both in the another episode. Yeah, I knew about that. Yeah. I also like the idea that the Monokuma's black and white side was like sort of a hint the entire time, like with the halves. He had no idea that we, the ultimate despair, had already made our way into the school. Yeah. So what was supposed to be a shelter to keep you safe became a cage that made it impossible How for ironic. you to escape this. I have to say, it really helped me out a lot. It saved me a ton of time. By the way, it was you yourselves who blocked off the wow. doors, all the exits. Under the headmaster's direction, you all went about your work. Like we did a damn good job. The soccer yeah. couldn't get that stuff off. You mean we trapped ourselves in here? And then you forgot all about it and started bitching about how you were trapped in here. <laughs> Man, we just. Nothing can satisfy us. It's unbelievable. Once you finished building your little shelter, it was time for me and Mukuro to get to work. And thus began the killing game. Me and Mukuro had come here, spending the last two years waiting Isn't for that Mukuro moment. And I? Yeah, but the previous, it was time for me and Mukuro to get to work was, was uh, appropriate. Yeah. That moment where you all began killing each other served as the climax of our global despair plan. And the only reason you survived the tragedy was so that you could be a part of it. Let us live. 
so we could go around killing each other? Is that what you're saying? Why? Why would you do that? Um, I don't know. Maybe you weren't paying attention, but ultimate despair. <laughs> <laughs> because this was so much more than a simple high school death match. What did you think this was? Something as just painfully basic as Battle Royale? Rather, it was a method to hunt down and destroy every last remaining speck of hope in the world. What are you saying? Well, it would seem that there's a little bit left out there. Yeah, there you go. Few souls unwilling to give up hope. So I thought I should show them, which is why I... <laughs> well, why don't you tell me? It's like a teacher. What the ma Yeah, yeah. Why don't you figure it out? Let me know what you think. That's we can then discuss perfect. That. Yeah. What the mastermind did to show everyone in the outside world, that was... Now, oh, hang me in a third time. This game's messing with me. Hi, Jack. This is really easy. I don't know. There's lots of R's in there. I don't know what to do. Ah, oh, come on. High knack? Oh! Now I understand! 